Welcome back to the channel. In today's detailed video, we're going to walk through one of the most crucial procedures in air conditioning service, vacuuming an AC system using a manifold gauge. Whether you're installing a brand new unit, replacing major components like a compressor or evaporator, or fixing a refrigerant leak, this step is absolutely essential to ensure long-term performance and prevent serious system damage. Let's dive into everything you need to know. Vacuum the system under the following conditions. Installing a new air conditioning unit. Replacing major parts like the compressor, evaporator coil, or condenser. After a refrigerant leak repair when the system has been exposed to the atmosphere. Make sure you have these tools ready. Manifold gauge set, vacuum pump, micron gauge used for precise vacuum measurement, protective equipment like gloves and safety glasses. Step one, connect the gauges. Attach the blue hose to the low pressure port on the AC unit. Connect the yellow hose to the vacuum pump. If using a micron gauge, connect it via a T-fitting or dedicated port. Ensure all connections are sealed tightly to avoid leaks. Step two, perform a leak test. Before starting the vacuum, check the system for leaks. Pressurize the system with dry nitrogen and use soap bubbles or an electronic leak detector on all fittings and joints. Step three, start the vacuuming process. Open the low side valve on the manifold gauge. Power on the vacuum pump. Let it run continuously for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on system size. Observe the gauge. Pressure should drop to negative 30 inches of mercury. Use the micron gauge to ensure vacuum reaches 500 microns or less. Step four, monitor the micron gauge. Keep monitoring the micron level. If the gauge stalls or rises, moisture or leak is still present, Continue vacuuming until you hit your target vacuum depth. Step five, perform a holding test. Once the desired vacuum is achieved, turn off the vacuum pump. Wait 10 to 15 minutes. If the reading remains stable, the system is sealed. If it rises, recheck all components for leaks or moisture. Step six, disconnect and prepare for charging. Close all valves and carefully remove the hoses. Use caps to prevent air from entering. Proceed to charge the system with the correct type and amount of refrigerant. To recap, always vacuum before charging any AC system. Remove moisture and non-condensables for long-term performance. Reach 500 microns or less. Do a holding test to confirm no leaks. Use the right tools and follow each step carefully. Thanks for sticking with me through this detailed guide. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Leave your HVAC questions below. And don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth tutorials just like this one. Until next time, stay cool, stay smart, and stay safe.